I'm so obsessed with my almond butter blueberry toast, which is surprising because I've been on this kick for a while. You would have thought I got sick of it, but it's still so good. I'm gonna do some morning journaling. I fall off of journaling a lot. I like do it sometimes when I feel like I really need it or I feel like I just need to like get stuff off my chest, but I've been trying to do it now more consistently just because I've been really into documenting a lot of things in my life, whether that's like in pictures or in words or in videos, just writing things down to remember them. And I also like to look back at like the first things I wrote in my journal and like see how different things are. And it honestly makes me feel better about whatever current struggles I'm having because I'm able to see like, wow, that was not too long ago. And I feel like I'm in a totally different place now. So just a few minutes in the morning. It is Monday, so these pages are kind of going to be like my intentions for the week, how I'm feeling going into the week. So let's write. I decided to go in the sauna today because I am dyeing my hair today so I didn't have to worry about like sweating too much and my hair getting greasy. So I got a nice good sweat and now I just got to my mom's salon because we're dyeing my hair again. I know. Can I like stop? I just have been a little unhappy with my hair the past couple times that we've done it just because I went red and red is one so hard to maintain but also so hard to get out if you want to like do anything else i'm doing something today that i have not done technically have not done i'm just gonna stop talking so you guys can like see what's going on but i'm very very excited for a change just the time that it is and how i've been feeling uh i feel like i'm entering a new era and i think that this hair is going to like represent that even more are you ready mom are you ready no, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? I just don't want to break. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Nerves are kicking in. Nerves are kicking in. Wait, we're doing a grilled chicken salad. Grilled chicken salad. so pretty. Maybe I'm going through a phase, but I'm loving it already. <laughs> That's so funny. so funny. Yeah. What do you think of my hair? Amazing. Amazing? Are we ready for the reveal? Cool. The rule with having your hair done is that you can't do the final reveal until your makeup's totally done. You just can't see like the final look, you know? So just pretend like you don't know what color it is right now. Give me a second. Final reveal. What do you think, Dad? Uh, you look like Sandra Bullock. <gasps> I look like a woman? Yeah. <laughs> what do we think? I told you guys, every time someone said, go dark, go brunette, I was like, screw you. I will not be doing that. No, thank you. Here you are. And um, I love it. It's a little crazy right now with the little blowout. It's a little frizzy, but. What do we think? What do we think? Cause I love it. I want the snack. I want. I want the mango. We got a mango. We okay. went um, grocery shopping yesterday. I actually have a Trader, Hall, Trader Joe's haul to share with you guys. Um, we'll insert that now because we got a lot of stuff. We needed a lot of things. We got some mignola oranges, bananas, some sweet potatoes. Big head of broccoli. Got some bok choy. Two packets of steel cut oatmeal. This is the frozen one. Garlic dip. This is literally the best thing ever. We cannot live without this stuff. Vegan pesto. Also, chimichurri sauce. Ooh, I'm gonna try this chocolate almond granola. We've been getting these frozen green beans. I'm still obsessed with my wild blueberries, so I always have to be stocked up. I need some chocolate chips for baking. Parts of palm pasta, parts of palm rice. 
a mango, zucchini squash, jasmine rice, another must have, honey, ground chicken, mini sweet peppers. What are these? Oh, I got some pears. Wait, I'm on a pear kick too. I'm on like a fruit kick right now. Honey, Greek yogurt, cashew yogurt, kuna, because I'm obsessed. Go macro bars, plant-based protein bars. I got the cookie dough and the hazelnut one to try out. And I got some chomps. These are just like beef sticks. I usually don't buy these, but I feel like they'll be good to snack on. Um, that was Trader Joe's. We also stopped at Costco and I got two things. These are my almond flour tortillas, my Simple Mills crackers. We also got razors, in case you're wondering. But that's it, that's the haul. It's rotten. My snack did not smile back. I'm gonna eat the chomps. We just got a few packages. Perfect. So we can do a little haul. Because I really, I don't know what's in these, actually. <gasps> Miss YSL, hello, hi. But all hours foundation. I don't think I've ever tried any YSL makeup products before, but this is, this is luxury. This is expensive, mama. Okay, I'm so excited to try this out. Okay, I wish I opened this up like 20 minutes ago before I did my makeup, but it's okay. I'll try it out another time. Next package. What is this? Lancome. Oh my God, what am I, a beauty guru? Why am I getting all this makeup PR? Lancome mascara. Sorry, what? Okay, now I'm like, should I take all my makeup off and start over? Like, what's going on? Got their mascara, a gloss, another mascara, two more glosses, and an eyeliner. Okay, let's try out the glass, why not? Clear, just put over any lip color. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. This is my favorite fragrance brand, and oh, we have the new On A Date candle, and then On A Date perfume. Oh, oh my gosh, I can already smell it. Grapes and roses, I love good rose scent. Oh my goodness, that is sexy. That smells like, that smells like a woman. It smells like feminine with the roses, but also gives a little bit of like a unisex, like masculine scent to it too. You got a wow. I'm not going anywhere, but I could still smell good. I love that. 10 out of 10. I made a protein shake because today, Honestly, I did not have like any greens. I didn't have much protein. And that's like a huge thing when you're going to the gym, especially if you're trying to be like more consistent with your workouts, like get your protein in. I hate to be that person, like that like gym rat meathead that's like protein dude, you need your protein or protein shakes, like extra, like double scoop at Chipotle dude. It's important. So I just ate dinner and now I'm drinking a protein shake. I feel like it's also good to have it's almost like a dessert, you know? Have a little sweet, sweet little smoothie. Ice, oat milk, spinach, cinnamon, wild blueberries, almond butter, and three scoops of protein powder, which was like 30 grams of protein. It's not the best tasting smoothie, but it's doing the job. It's doing the job. Junie's a camera whore. Come on, come here. Just like her mom. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God, dude. First time on the vlog. This is Kona. He's half German Shepherd and half Husky. And he's a handful. <laughs> I don't even do anything today. 
I literally sat in a salon chair for a majority of my day. So why am I exhausted? I am so in love with my hair and I'm so glad that I went back dark and just like pulled the trigger and actually tried it out because I've had this urge recently to just like go back to my roots and try out my natural color because I feel like for such a long time I was telling myself that I just look better blonde. Like I just feel more myself when I'm blonde and I feel like after a while, I don't even know, I don't even know if that was true. It was just something that I kept telling myself. And then I like sat back and I'm like, how do I know that dark isn't me if I haven't done it in like four or five years? And I had like really short hair and I was just a completely different person, obviously. This hair is like a symbolic new era of so many things. I'm just so happy with it. And it's honestly surprising me how much I love it. Because like I said, I used to tell myself like, oh, like I just like I'm not like a dark hair girl and now I'm, here we are. So here's to 2023, trying new things. Things that you tell yourself, that you've been telling yourself that you don't like, let go of what you've been telling yourself and try it with just like a blank slate. Like today I had tomatoes in my sandwich and I never eat tomatoes. I hate tomatoes, especially in a sandwich. Like a sandwich and a salad, not for me. I had two slices of tomatoes in my chicken sandwich today. And that's huge for me. Did I try anything else new today? Oh my god, today was like a big growth day. That's probably why I'm, I'm feeling so good. When I was at the gym, the most I've done on a leg press is two plates on each side. But I'm like, that's a big jump from two plates on each side to three plates on each side and i just kept telling myself like what if i can't do it like one what if i hurt hurt myself two what if i can't freaking get the plates up and i'm here like by myself i don't want to embarrass myself but i was like you know what if you keep telling yourself that you can't do it and that it's too hard then that's what's gonna happen so i just like went into it like you know what i'm not even gonna put any thought i'm just gonna like try my hardest and we're gonna see how it goes and i freaking did it Look at me. <gasps> Look at me. I did eight. I I usually would do ten, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do eight. First I told myself I'm gonna do five. And then I was like, I could do a few more. And then I did eight. So I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Also, my next video is gonna be a super, super exciting one because I announced on my Instagram, if any of you guys saw, that I made my own matcha latte with one of my favorite coffee shops, Federal Coffee in LA, and it's gonna be available all the rest of February. And I've been like giving out new information on Instagram about it, but basically it comes out on Friday the 10th, and my next video is gonna be like all about it, but that's also so exciting. And also, I don't know why I'm feeling so chatty tonight. I bought this book at the beginning of my breakup and it honestly was helping me so, so much. And I was recommending it to people because it was so amazing. It's basically, when you're ready, this is how you heal. Definitely, definitely helped my healing process, but I didn't even get that far in. Like I have this much left it doesn't only apply to breakups, it applies to just like loss and new beginnings and just healing in general from anything. Healing your inner self from just like troubling times and this book is so, so, so good. Um, so let's read something from it. I love our little, I love our little reading sessions. This is fun, this is fun. What's right for us isn't a harsh declaration. It isn't something we have to force or wander about for too long. It isn't something that leaves us looking for signs. It doesn't require us to pull our friends to gather their opinions. It doesn't leave us questioning, grieving, self-doubting. It doesn't put us on hold. It doesn't feel as though we have to grab it before it's gone, but rather that it will always be waiting for us when we are ready. The things that are most right for us are also the easiest to miss because they're often subtle at first. We just have to stay the course. We just have to realize that life will magnetize to us what is meant to be ours. Sometimes our only job is to step out of the way. This book is so freaking good. I'm, I'm just gonna um, keep reading this and I feel like with every page like I just resonate with something else and I cannot recommend it enough. So I'm gonna keep reading. I lost my place. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's video and uh, go try my matcha. Maybe we could have a matcha date together.
more info in the next video. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and go to sleep, but I love you guys. Bye.